Good evening, YouTube. This is MTP Flyers, and right here next to me is a bag from STM called the Convoy. This is a medium bag, primarily geared towards 15-inch laptop. And what STM has done is they've actually designed a bag around the laptop. So I've been using this for a little while now. I've been meaning to update you all on it or give you my first impressions of it after I tried it. But it just kind of ended up being my everyday bag, and, and I've been using it to go up to the lake and uh, just, you know, taking it to work and whatnot. But uh, it's a pretty nice bag. It's definitely not uh, the larger bags uh, like you might see, like the Evolution or the... I'm trying to think of the other name of the one I have, but I do have another one that I'm bringing up for that. So let's get into this and just check this out real quick. Standard bag uh, from STM always going to include the laptop pouch here and let me just zoom in there real quick hopefully we can get you to see that there but that's where your laptop is actually going to slide in and it's real soft real real you know real protected of that and what i like about this is when you actually put your laptop in here there's a pouch that wraps around it but like i said this is ideally made for a 15 inch laptop and when you drop the laptop in there, this peels around it and keeps it behind the the behind the stretchy uh, fabric here. And then you have your uh, Velcro that actually pinches up underneath and your bag actually goes over top of it. And when you want to access it, you can pull the strap and it'll undo the Velcro. Of course, I didn't do a very good job pushing that in there. But once you get that in there, you can see that that grabs that there by the Velcro pieces around the edges there. What's unique about this is the fact that when you put your laptop in, it's on the front of the bag, and it's not against your back, which is where all the heat would would uh, start, you know, would would resonate from from the back of the laptop. So, if that is the only thing, I would say that's awesome. But I also think it helps with the balancing on your back, like the weight is kind of away from your back as opposed to pushing down on top of you. So it is pretty neat. Uh, I like the idea, and it's definitely very useful. So, other than that, you have your inside pouch here, uh, which you put your books, your magazines, and everything. So, right now, I just have a few things in there. One of my wires I stuffed in there. But uh, it's your basic, uh, basic pouch in there. And look, I got another wire. And, uh, you know, nylon, real good uh, room in there for you. Definitely not the biggest, but, you know, it does what I need, and it carries what I need. A few magazines, the iPad if I want to put it in there, which is pretty sweet. So, on the front of the bag, they actually have four separate compartments on the front, and then an access patch in the uh, pouch in the, in the center there. So, first things first we have on the front here are two pouches. Now, what I really like about these, and let me just go ahead and zoom in there, is... These pouches on the button, on the front, and I actually, unfortunately, lost the front front there, but these actually snap in place. And if you can see that, you would think to yourself, oh, well, you got to push it down and you're, and you're trying to hold it. What they did was, and again, yet yeah, we'll go tighter. What they actually did was they took and, as you see there, you can slip your thumb in there, and then when you go to snap that down... It allows you to actually hold that there and to do that. You see that how I'm able to do that? So when I first got this, I thought, oh, it snaps. It's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to do that. But they thought of it. You're actually able to keep your your you know, your know product in here from you pushing down on it and crushing it to actually keeping it away and then just easily snapping it down. So that's a pretty cool innovation. I like that. I don't think I've ever seen that anywhere else. But in these two pouches, I actually have my Vado HD. And I have my ZI-8, which do come in handy every once in a while if I'm shooting something. But that is it for those. And like I said, you're able to just grab the, the pulls here and then easily just snap down your buttons and seal that up. Same thing with the bottom here. You're able to do that. And then this is actually all one pouch that's in here. And I have my throwaway case just in, just in case. I have some screen cleaner with a microfiber that is tied to it from Spec. That's a pretty cool thing to have. And uh, actually, I did keep the name there. It's the Convoy. 
And uh, like I said, it fits most 15 inch laptop. I don't know if you can see that on there, but I did that just to make sure I knew what we were talking about. And uh, I think I just have a couple other things in there. Oh, I got a case here. This is actually Carlos's. I'll give that back to him. And some extra batteries. And I did that for my voice recorder, which is over there, just to make sure I have it. So other than that, those are the main, main points of the front of the bag. The pouch on the inside, as these batteries start rolling around, the pouch on the inside is nice to have because you can just kind of throw things in there. Let me back out here a little bit for you guys. And uh, what's nice about this is it actually allows you to zip, unzip it all the way down, but they do have the pieces on the sides here that don't, you know, allow things to start falling out. It actually keeps it in there. So I have uh, my Gorillas, which is my bendable iPod stand or uh, camera stand, sorry, camera stand, or voice recorder stand, depending on where I'm at. And then um, it actually allows you to put, you know, the standard stuff in here, pens, cables. You know, if I'm not running around too much like I had these other cables in the bag there, you're actually able to put a few pens in there and uh, some nice storage. What I like to do is put all my wires in this big pouch down here at the... Uh, at the center of it and what's nice about that is you just kinda you just kinda throw them in there and you go so you got the pouch going on in there which is very nice and then you actually have the room down here at the bottom which I'll throw some more stuff in there like I do have some cables in there and this is actually one of my charging cables and uh, this is some something when I was up in uh, the Holiday Spectacular in New York I never took that out I have my charging plug for my uh, Lucky Packs 5400, and pretty much that's about it, you know, as far as that goes. You know, nothing, uh, nothing too serious, pretty much straightforward. They do give you a, um, let me just kind of zoom out here for you guys momentarily. They do give you a piece here that's attached to your keychain. Snap your keys on there, that way you're not digging for them down here. They're just kind of hanging there. So that's pretty sweet. There is one other feature of this bag which I think is really cool, and that's on the back. So we're going to zoom out here just to give you guys a better shot of this. Now, of course, the straps that they have for security reasons, if you're hiking and whatnot, they allow you to wrap that around your chest and, uh, you know, to hold that in place so it doesn't fall off. And uh, they've got straps here on the inside for your waist as well but you can hide that in there underneath here and you can uh, keep that away on the sides they do have some pockets more geared towards keeping things things in not necessarily like a water bottle typically on the other bags they'll have like a a, um, a stretchy fabric or like a, I'm trying to think of the word for it but it's got you know it's got holes in it and uh, you're able to just do that and uh, put your water bottle in there Almost like an elastic-y type thing. Same thing on this side. But one of the things I thought was really cool. When I went to uh, one of the Phillies games and uh, I had this, it started raining. And thankfully, you know, of course this isn't this isn't like a nylon or neoprene anything. You know, this is a, a fabric bag, almost like a, a corduroy or, or something like that. So one of the things that I was, you know, that I was wondering was flashlight in here <laughs> you know one of the things i was like oh you know what i love about this is it actually comes with a raincoat and the raincoat stays attached you can take it off if you want to adjust it but this allowed me to easily wrap the bottom of the bag take it over and it was raining you know pretty hard there for a little bit so i was able to just pop this on top wrap it underneath and protect the camera that I had in there, my video camera. I even uh, even had my um, my iPad there. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So there it is. It's all protected. I was able to just uh, you know keep this down on the uh, under the seat, or front of the seat. And, uh, you know, nothing got in. Everything ran down. Make sure it ran down the front. And you're covered. So, all their bags have these, uh, backpack-wise, uh, that I've seen so far. I have a couple of them, as it is. 
So, very nice. Definitely can't go wrong. And when you're done, you simply take the wrapping off, raincoat off, whatever you want to call it, and you're able to roll it up and simply put it back in and you're set. You definitely cannot go wrong. Uh, I, I didn't know if I was ever going to use that and uh, it actually works out. Keep it down under there and you're all set. So this is a very nice bag guys from STM. If you've got a 15 inch or smaller laptop I definitely suggest this as a smaller bag. Um, if you're someone that's out in the weather a lot, I definitely don't suggest getting the Convoy. Maybe like one of their, uh, the Revolution or the, I think it's the Ivolution. I'll have to check that um, on there. But uh, they have the neoprene bags, you know, that the water is able to run off a little bit better. But this is nice for an everyday bag. It's a little smaller. It doesn't stick out as much as those bigger bags. It can, it can keep small and, and feel like you're not lugging in around a whole lot. I do try not to put a whole bunch of stuff in this. When I took this up to New York with Larry, I had um, my camera, I had my iPad, and I think I took a jacket just in case, and I think that was about it. I took my batteries and everything in there, but it was nice and light, and uh, it was nice to carry around just to have a little bit of what I needed. So that's actually really cool. So you can find this at any one of uh, STM Bags uh, uh, online retailers, and you can go to their website, stm-bags.com, to find out where your closest one is. You see, I've got it up right there behind me. But uh, this is $99 on their website. You might be able to find it for less somewhere else. But uh, there's my take on that. I do have a couple more bags that I want to show off and uh, give you guys my opinion on. Haven't used them yet, so uh, those will be coming up shortly. So guys, for STM, I want to thank them for sending this out to me for review, and uh, we got a lot more coming. So guys, stick around, and I will talk to you later. See ya! I'm not anywhere near the camera. Hold on.